Engineering Update. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, a record-breaking jet luge, Japan's largest solar power plant, and NASA's newest Mars Explorer. People tend to think of the luge as something associated only with the Winter Olympics, but when you put the word jet in front of it, the luge takes on a whole different meaning. There is, in fact, an Australian street luge circuit, and Daz Fellows, one of the founding members, is about to take it to the next level. With his jet luge, which features twin turbines with a combined output of 537 pounds of thrust and a custom board made from carbon fiber, Fellows will attempt to reach a speed of 300 miles per hour. The current record held by Jason Bradbury of the UK is 115.8 miles per hour. But Fellows believes his engines, which run on jet fuel and weigh in at 29 pounds each, are capable of much more. With everything included, the rig weighs about 73 pounds and is just 8 to 10 millimeters off the road. It's just under 3 meters long and measures just 598 millimeters at the waist. What allows the jet luge to achieve its record-breaking speed is the afterburners running at full burn, which briefly increases the available thrust by 38%. The run is scheduled to take place next year between April and August to take advantage of the best weather conditions. After a lot of talk about how to dismantle and deal with the Fukushima power plant, Japan has been looking for other safer and cleaner energy alternatives. They recently launched their largest solar plant with the capability of powering 22,000 homes. The 70-megawatt facility is located at the southern tip of Japan and is run by Kyocera, a Japanese electronics manufacturer. The company began constructing what would become the country's largest utility-scale facility in July of 2012, and it began operating on November 1st. The whole facility occupies 1.27 million square meters and is made up of 290,000 arranged panels. The Japanese government recently stipulated that local utilities must purchase 100% of the power generated from solar installations of more than 10 kilowatts for the next two decades. Earlier this week, NASA launched its unmanned Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, aka MAVEN, from the Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Base in Florida. The official time of launch was 1.28 on Monday, November 18th. The probe was attached to an Atlas V rocket with an RD-180 engine producing approximately 860,000 pounds of thrust, making the jet luge seem a little less exciting. After successful final separation at precisely 2.20 p.m., the MAVEN extended its solar panels for the 10-month journey. The official Mars mission for MAVEN begins in September of 2014 and will focus on the history of the atmosphere, atmospheric processes, solar winds, and various isotopes. All the information gathered by MAVEN will be compared to data gathered by the Mars Curiosity rover to create more of a picture of what life on the red planet is really like. That wraps up this week's episode. Be sure to join in the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update. Japan's largest solar power plant, Fukushima Power Plant, 